This is a TP-Link Archer C2, a reasonably old router, was one of its best during its times, about 5-6 years back, has uh, dual band AC750 capabilities, has a gigabit LAN port and also a capable USB port. Today these cool looking routers are redundant thanks to the fiber optic routers and higher 5 gigahertz transmission speeds. So what do we do with these? Sell them? Well, I just turn them into repeaters. Let's find out how. Okay, first things first, uh, we need to log into the router router page, which is basically an IP address assigned to this router. In this case, it's uh, 192.168.0.1. You have to put your passwords, your credentials to log into the router page. Once you are here, the first thing you do is probably uh, give it a good factory reset and set it to the default because you don't need any of these settings. So you just go to system tools, um, search for the factory default option and click on restore. So once you hit on that button, it's going to give you a pop-up warning and then it's going to take some amount of time um, just probably about a minute or so for it to re reboot and reset everything So if you're connected to this router wirelessly, uh, you're going to lose connection. So just remember that you'll have to connect back to that. So I'm going to connect back to this router. Okay. Once you're back, let's go to the LAN options under network. And I'm going to uh, change the default IP address to something else. So the default IP address is now going to be, let's say, 192.168.0.2 So once you uh, change the IP address for the router, it's going to take some time and reboot again. So now the router is going to reboot again. Now let's go back to the network settings again. This time we'll, we'll go to the 5 gigahertz. We're going to disable 5 gigahertz. I haven't tried if it works with the 5 gigahertz, but I'm going to disable 5 gigahertz option at the moment. And once you do that, let's go to the 2.4 gigahertz. So you can choose whatever wireless network name you want to give for your SSID. The next important thing is to enable WDS. Very important to do this. So once you enable WDS and have given a name for your SSID, that is going to be broadcasting from this router. It's going to ask you for the SSID of the current network connection that you want to bridge, right? So for that, all you need to do is just hit the scan button. So once you hit the scan button, let's see what happens. It's going to throw up all the local Wi-Fi connections that it can see in its range, right? So here we see a couple of them popping up and I'm going to refresh once or twice to make sure that it's pulling up all the networks around me. So I want to select the network that I want to boost. Okay, 
So once you select connect, you do get a pop-up. Just hit OK. And then select the kind of encryption you want to use. So I'm going to use WPA2. Encryption, I think I'll leave it as AES. And the password. So this is basically the password for your current network, which you're using uh, from another router. So once you've given the network password for the connection you want to boost or repeat, this should connect to that router. And that's about it. Yeah, one last step. Just go to DHCP settings, disable it. So this shouldn't be active. All right, once you do that, that's about it. I think you're pretty much done. You will again lose network connectivity. So let's go back to the network which we have currently set up. All you have to do is just connect back to the router and you'll see that internet is working and it's actually pulling up, you know, it's actually boosting a signal which was transmitted by another router. From a speed perspective, it may not be as fast as your uh, original router, but then it does a pretty decent job. So that's uh, that's about it. I mean, that's how you convert your old TP-Link C2 router into a repeater. I hope this video was useful. Uh, if you did like the video, please hit the subscribe button and the like button, of course. Thank you so much for watching our tech and I shall see you on the next one. Bye.